this is my 1967 MG 1100 Mark 1. Uh, very, very rare car because it's got an automatic gearbox in this one, which was never actually officially available in the Mark 1 MG. It was in the Austin and Morris, but not the MG. We think it was probably a special order car. It's also got a pre-1963 number plate on it, even though it's 1967 which we believe again was probably on the car from new it should have been an F registration so I finished a full restoration on this last summer in August 2022 uh, complete paint job all done by me in cellulose in smoke grey on the top half old English white on the bottom um, it's had a couple of doors replaced a couple of original wheels have been shot blasted and powder coated with new tyres still got to paint the MG badges in again just to tidy those up in terms of the underside, had a bit of welding done on the heel board, not too much, it was all pretty solid. And the brand new, new old stock rear subframe, I'll try and get the phone under there to film it. You can't see it very well, but hopefully you can make something out of that. It's all looking good underneath. Of course, lots of rust proofing as well to preserve it, hopefully. I keep the car in the carcoon through the winter months and even during wet spells in the summer. Rear wheel arches are original, haven't had any welding done. Sills are not cover sills, a correct spec, and except for the fact that I've replaced the outer sills up to probably about here, where I've joined them because they weren't bad, but they did need some work. Front wings are original, haven't been replaced. Inside the car, the only part of the interior I've replaced is the carpets, and I bought the carpet being the closest match, and then made them on the original backing hand stitched the rubber heel mat in and the mat on the transmission tunnel which uh, funnily enough is still on the autos even though there's no clutch pedal dash is original veneer and lacquer still in lovely condition door cards I've got to do something with the door pockets because they're not on at the moment they need to be sorted out because they've discoloured a little bit seats are totally original just been cleaned headlining is all good the original rear window on this car was heated with the fine wires embedded in it and I tried to refit that after I painted the car and unfortunately it just wasn't going to happen. So one of the contacts broke off so I've had to put a, a non-heated window in the back which is a shame. The, the switch is, is here on the dash for that so at least it could be used for something else. The steering wheel is reasonably tidy but has worn a little bit on the edge but it's still pretty good. I managed to find a good chrome select a plate cover from a chap not too far from here because that was corroded a little bit but other than that it's all good if we pop the bonnet if it'll let me the bonnet release cable is a bit dodgy I need to just do something with that because it's not quite working as it should and if we go round to the front I managed to get a new old stock front panel for this because that was in a poor state. The old stock front bumper, grille is original, bonnet is original. There it is under the bonnet. 36,000 miles on the automatic engine and gearbox. Still some jobs to do. I've got the rubber to go on here. Haven't yet fitted it. Everything else is pretty much done on there and as it should be. I've got the plaque there that I made and attached to the car this car belonged to my granddad between the early 70s and the early 80s and he kept hold of the car until he died in 1990 at which point the car was moved from Yorkshire to Devon and laid up until I got round to doing something with it starting about 10 years ago it's been a long term restoration let's fire it up it starts on the button runs nicely engine gearbox haven't had anything done to them at all apart from a reconditioned dynamo and a water pump and it does run nicely has got a bit of an oil leak on the torque converter it does drip a little bit of oil but I can live with that I just stick a pad underneath so let's jump in and there it is I love driving this car it's slow it's low geared, feels like it needs an extra gear, but I don't care because the fun is just in tootling around gently in a car like this. 
let's turn off. I'm just going to close the bonnet and then I'll just give the car a little shunt around. So there we go, I've closed the bonnet. I'm just going to fire the old girl back up. And if we go into reverse, just lift the stick and forwards, wait for that little clunk, and away we go. I'm driving one handed, but I can because I'm on private land. Beauty of being on a farm. I'm just going to try and go wider angle on my camera lens if it will let me. No, it won't. Okay. And off we go. And we're just in first at the moment, so it won't change gear. I'm not going to go very far. And it's just lovely. It's got that lovely hydroelastic bounce. side mirrors at all on this car. Let's turn and look back. I don't particularly want to fit them because I like things to be original. I uh, know safety could be a concern. I think as long as you know what you're doing and you're careful and you're aware of it and you drive in the right way, it's not a major issue. So let's go back to where we were. No power steering on this old girl really need it. There we go. We're back where we were, so I'm going to stop the filming there for a minute. 